What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. I got my pops here and we are at the beach. We are at Tiger Shores Beach here in Martin County. My dad's got the metal detector. Show it off. I got a bucket and this cool little rake. The goal today is to find sand fleas. I haven't found sand fleas in a long time. I think it's been about like two years. Um, not really sure if there's a time of year for them or not. I think they like beaches that's a little more rough. Um, more natural and we're just gonna find out. I'm gonna start digging. Hopefully I can find some and I might eat them because I've seen a lot of people eat some sand fleas and uh, hopefully we can try them out. So let's get to digging. Ooh, it's windy. The beach is definitely rough so I think that's good news for sand fleas. bird just sam sandpiper sandpiper bird just sitting in the sand right here oh normally they run up and run away he must be resting look at him taking a break so so far I've scooped a few times and I'm only finding little tiny sand fleas not what I'm looking for so we're gonna keep on moving on all right so we're not getting into them thick yet but I did find one and I'll show you guys what they look like this is what they are right there Whew. they pretty much look like a little flea AKA that's why they call them sand fleas. Come on, there you go, woo. So that one's a really small one. Might just let him go. Watch this. So we're gonna start walking north on the beach and my dad's been metal detecting for probably the past four years now and he says when it comes to metal detecting that when you look down the beach there's highs and lows right and he said when there's a low area that's when he finds the most stuff so we're gonna apply that tactic to sand fleas as well you got some it looks like my dad might have found something let's see That water comes up. It's not dead. No. If it's a louder noise on the metal detector, the bigger the object. If it's very faint and like beep, beep, it's something small. Oh, I wonder if that's gonna affect my GoPro. So what he'll do is he'll scoop where it beeps and then when it beeps he'll put the scoop somewhere else scan it again if it doesn't beep then he knows the object is in the sand where the scoop is so he's eliminating the amounts of sand 
where the object could be in, if that makes sense. This little orange thing is a pin pointer. So when it gets the sand down to a smaller area, he'll use the pin pointer and pinpoint exactly where the object is. I don't want to get too close because that thing is sensitive. It looks like a piece of jewelry. Sure is green. What in the world? Green and sparkly. Green and sparkly. The question is, is that a real diamond? Is it scales? <laughs> is, is it copper? Is that copper? Copper turns very green. Copper and a crystal or a diamond? I don't know. But copper and diamond usually don't go together either. Yeah, that's why it's so weird. But silver tarnishes pretty good. Silver always tarnishes. Huh. It is sparkly. I wonder if it's, it's, it's not part of a ring. I have no idea. And it's like one hinge. Maybe it's... What would have a diamond like that with, that would not be a piece of jewelry? I have no idea. In the comments below, let me know what you think this is. There's like one little hinge. Oh no. One little hinge. Oh, there's a piece of wire in it. Yeah, it's like a hinge. Let me let me wash off the back and see what we can see. All right. Oh no. It lets the light through. Which means? I don't know. I have no idea, but it lets <laughs> the light through. It lets the light through. Interesting. Well, we'll have to add it to the collection. If you're wondering why I have a band aid on my finger, I tried to save a squirrel and I got bit by it. We got the first good one of the day. Fun fact about sand fleas is they play dead. They do play dead. He almost got away from me. They're not very thick here, but usually if you find one or two, you find more. So the sand fleas at this beach weren't looking too hot. I went ahead and let that one nice one go. My dad did find some treasure though, so it wasn't a complete loss. We are going to the next beach over where we see some people fishing. So that's always a good sign of one, people on the beach. Two, we might find a fishing weight because lead is pricey these days. Fish might mean there's sand fleas there too. See y'all at the next beach. Next beach up, welcome. To Bob Graham Beach. I keep getting these little baby ones. I mean, they're like teenagers, not baby. I'm gonna put them in the bucket for you guys just so you can see them all. It looks like my dad just got a hit on the metal detector too.
up in the bucket and I got another juvenile. Well, this is the best ball we've had so far. There we go. This one almost got away. He was playing dead on me. So the way you see him when you dump the sand, you move the sand down and you're just looking for anything that's crawling. He was he was playing uh, he was playing possum. You guys, I just found a little shrimp. Like, I mean, he's tiny. I'm putting him in the water so he doesn't die. He's literally this big. Oh. Cool. When this hits the sand, watch all the little ones come up. Alright. Wait, don't wait. Yeah. super hard to see but when you break open the sand you'll see a bunch of baby 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 ones just crawl everywhere so I'm curious it's mid-october right now if maybe a lot of them just hatched and maybe like November December would be a really good time to get the bigger ones because I was at the beach two weeks ago and all I could find were just teeny teeny ones I don't know if you could see them in that clip or not but super super tiny you guys we just moved down about 20 feet and i found the mother load we got three Woo! don't crawl out of my head three big ones here check this out there we go all right so i'm going to show you guys how you can catch these sand fleas you can use your hands you can use a little shovel right here Anything to just get that sand up. Not even now. So normally what I do is I wait for that water to come up and then once it starts going out, you want to start digging, 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 digging. And as the water goes out, you scoop up, run up to where there's no water, and dump it. You gotta be quick because those sand fleas will bury into the sand really, really fast. Finally! These sand fleas are making me work today. Sometimes you can come out here and you can just scoop up and find 20 of them in one scoop. And sometimes you can barely find them, so I'm just out here trying to figure it out. See the eggs? So we're going to wrap up our day. We did manage to find some sand fleas, however, it's not as many as I would like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and release them because they deserve to be free. Wait for the water to come up. Wait till water go wait till water goes back down, Switch they'll follow sides. it.
we're back up from the beach and we're rinsing off our gear, everything at the shower. What beach are, I don't know if I, no, this is the Bob, Bob Graham beach. Yeah, Bob Grand beach. Um, I've seen a lot of people fishing at this beach. However, I did run into this super nice lady who was looking in the bucket and she was like, oh my gosh, sand fleas. She's like, I used to, when I was a kid, I would catch these all the time. And she'd like, you know, uh, explore the sargasm, which is all the seaweed. She's like, I'd find sargasm fish and she just finds so many cool critters. And I'm like, that's what I did growing up. <laughs> so, but she was telling me that she knew this guy who was a researcher and he spent his life researching Pompano. And she did tell me that when the water temperature drops and gets a little bit more chillier, the sand fleas go deeper. So they're not gonna be so much on the beach, which could be why we didn't find a lot today. Because this morning the temperature did drop a couple degrees and it's starting to feel like fall in Florida. I know all y'all people who are from up north would think this is summertime still, but listen, when it drops like one to two degrees, you're like, pumpkins? <laughs> it feels like fall. But we had a fun day, spent some time with my dad, and he did find a piece of jewelry that might be a real diamond, I'm not sure yet. I will let you guys know in a pinned comment if it is. Um, it looks like it, it's super shiny. But this is a fun activity that you can do with your kids, or if you're an adult, get a shovel, scoop up the sand with your hands, and throw the sands and you'll find them. Um, they're just super cool. I used to love playing with them when I was a kid at the Oceanographic Society in Stewart, Florida. They had a touch tank. And that's where I first learned about sand fleas. You can also use them for pompano baits. Catching pompano off Florida on the beaches, sand fleas are the way to go. But right now this video is ending. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, hit a thumbs up, and say bye. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. See ya.